much would you pay to go on holiday? Believe it or not, you can now get away for less than a tenner. Just buy a newspaper, cut out the vouchers, and send off your money. For that, you get a weekend in a caravan. Have a look! In the last 20 years, almost 40 million Brits have been on one of these bargain basement breaks. Actually, it is better than my house, to be honest. And when times are hard, more and more of us need a cheap chance to escape. Whatever our means. Probably about 70p left in my purse. You know, maybe well-off people are well-off because they know how to be good with money. <laughs> Hi, Sparky. I five. So this is Sparky the Rabbit. For big business, cash-strapped holiday makers can offer rich pickings. You actually physically don't need to leave the park. It's all here for you. Will £9.50 buy the getaway of your dreams? Get in! Or leave you feeling short-changed? It's yeah. raining, so they've yeah. got nothing more to do than sit and pick holes in their caravan. Yeah. Not that I'm saying their caravan's tap, but, well... In hard-up Britain, the staycation is thriving. These days, more and more of us have no choice but to holiday at home. Holiday parks are at the forefront of this boom, bringing in billions of pounds every year. In Skegness, Paul Chapman manages one of the East Coast's biggest parks, Southview, part of the chain park resorts. Creating amazing memories is our company vision. It all goes back to that leaving uh, one of our holiday parks and, and having those memories with you for years that are amazing. There's six key values and they're just up on the wall behind me there, which feed into everything that we do in terms of creating amazing memories. That's it. Creating amazing memories. Boom. Creating amazing memories is big business. The company's annual turnover is £180 million and Paul's Park is one of their prize assets. Southview is a big park, got over 1,200 caravans and at any one point during a busy period we can have potentially up to 4,000 people on the resort. But it's not easy keeping a park this big fully booked. Outside the school holidays, Paul relies on cut price bookings from newspaper voucher schemes. Probably on, a, on a, what we call an off-peak week, 80% of the um, caravans can be occupied by somebody that's on one of our voucher holidays. A caravan sat empty is not earning us as a business any money, so you know, we, we're quite happy to have customers that are on a voucher promotion in a caravan, um, and you know, we're going to earn some money. It's May, and voucher holiday makers across the country are setting off. Good morning, girls. Thank you, Thank you. We get. For some, it's the only holiday they can afford this year. In South End in Essex, the Pearsons have five children aged 3 to 11. For some breakfast. Dad Michael runs his own small business, but they struggle to pay for a family break. Can't afford to go abroad. <laughs> it's too much money to buy passports and everything, so we just tend to stick to this country. It's cheaper. When the Pearsons discovered voucher holidays a couple of years ago, it was the first holiday they'd been able to afford for all seven of them. We like the fact that we can get a nice cheap break, because otherwise we only had one holiday a year, which was with his mum. No, we really enjoy it. For their big family getaway, they're treating themselves to a weekend in Great Yarmouth. The seaside town is home to one of Norfolk's more exotically named holiday parks, California Cliffs. It's the truth, it's action. Every Friday, Carl Scamp and his team have just a few hours to get the caravans ready. We're two cleaners short, and we've got 80 caravans being let today. But obviously we've got other families that are departing from other caravans, so I think all in all we're doing about 110, I think, something like that anyway. Me and Tracy have cleaned 20-odd caravans in a day before, haven't we, Trace? Needs must. When needs must. 
Where are we off to next? Four walls of aluminium aren't for everyone. But now that money's tight, the humble caravan's becoming the holiday of choice for some that never previously dreamed of it. The big holidays were always abroad. We learnt to dive in Fiji and yeah. Australia, which one is just... We were there for four months. It was just... Lots of wine tasting. We really enjoyed the Thai cooking course, didn't we, in Thailand? Mm. A little safari, safari haven't we? Yeah. Um, Vietnam was really nice. And so, yeah, certainly couldn't afford to do anything like that now. Now we'll have a look back here. In Burton-on-Trent, Paul and Emma Ravel are both vets. You can only choose four things. Successful professionals who've had to rein in their holiday spending. Look at those teeth of yours. Their first voucher holiday was two years ago, and they found that saving money can be fun. I know you like that one, don't you? I find it quite exciting, you know, to get a really good deal, to be able to do something fun and good for cheaper than it should be. Well, we'll take the pinky ones as well. I'm proud. <laughs> that I've saved a lot of money. <laughs> so for now, the safaris are on hold. I don't think we've told you where we're going, though. We're going to Skegness. Skegness. Let's go! Come on, let's go! <laughs> Each resort has caravans to cater for every taste and budget. From the platinum with double glazing and central heating, through to gold, silver. Please be nice and left in a clean condition. Or if you can only afford £9.50. Ooh, smells a bit fishy. The bronze. Perhaps they add kippers for breakfast. Just gonna go and spray the bathrooms and stuff. Yeah. yeah. I personally wouldn't want to stay in a bronze because obviously they're a bit, a bit smaller than golds and silvers and not of a high standard. They're just a very basic caravan. There's no heating in the bedrooms. You just have a gas fire as you're heating, which in the winter time, these caravans are freezing. Right, what's left? Just the hoovering. £9.50 per person gets you the caravan, but there are a few extras. You also pay a service charge, which, for example, this weekend it's £22.50, um, which covers all your utilities, so your gas, your electricity, your water. Um, and then you have additional um, bolt-ons that you can add. So if you wanted uh, linen, that's an additional cost, and at the moment that's £4.50 per person. Or you can bring your own and, and, and not have to charge. You'll get some that may have not done it before and they get confused with the service charge. So they'll arrive and go, oh, I've got no linen, I've paid for it. And obviously you go and look at the booking and they've actually not paid for it, so they have to come to reception and pay for it. So, for four people this weekend, with service charge and bed sheets, that's £76. Cheap little break for some families, isn't it? It's not just families. Not all 18 to 30s can afford two weeks in Cavos. Where's Emma? Calling her now. In Mildenhall in Suffolk, 23-year-old Nina and 19-year-old Corinne both still live on the street they grew up on. This town is boring, there's nothing to do. The only thing to do is go out on a Friday night and go to work. That's about as far as it goes. But this weekend, they've decided to escape. I've never done a holiday with friends before. Something new. Get away from this shit hole. They've invited their friends for a weekend away from working long hours for low pay. If you wanted to go on the board, half of them couldn't afford it. Because it's so cheap, everyone can come. It's not quite a hundred miles from Mildenhall to Skegness. They all give me 40 quid, and then that included our bedding, gas and electricity, and petrol money. Can't beat it, can you really? Exactly. No, it's not, cos when we... Play centre worker Nina's just worked 24 days in a row. I don't mind working on minimum wage, cos at the end of the day it's a job. Any job, you take it, whatever it is. 16 when I left school, and then never been out of a job since. You don't get nowhere in life without money, do you? On the fence! Right, let's see. Corin and the others all still live at home with their parents. <laughs> it's weird being away from home. <laughs> I'm not used to it. Hello, Mum. Are you alright? Yes, I'll eat, yeah. Mum. <laughs> Love you loads. Hi. Yeah. My mum. My mum just texted me saying, 
What's the name of the holiday park you are staying at in case of an emergency? <laughs> when you still live with mum and dad, a weekend in a caravan is a chance to play house. I thought it was going to be like a tiny little, you know, sort of all have to squidge past. No, it's really good. Actually, it is better than my house, to be honest. We're here. Although it's cheaper than their previous holidays, the Revels are still after a more premier experience. Let's have a look. He said, let's upgrade. <laughs> That's what you were worried about, I think, wasn't mm. it? Was that they'd just be horrible and old and just not very pleasant. I think we're pissed. I think we're pissed. They've gone for a silver caravan. Yeah. The van's wider, you get heating, yeah. and it's just nicer, the decor's nicer. Actually, I've noticed the bathroom's got a towel rail as well, which we've never had before, so that should warm it up a little bit. But don't worry if you haven't booked your upgrade in advance. It's never too late to pay a little extra. We always look to, to upgrade the customers wherever possible. A lot of customers may decline them beforehand, but actually when they get here um, and we have a conversation when they're checking in, um, I think that's that impulse of, oh yeah, we can, we can have um, an upgrade and it's only going to be £50. Yeah, we do do a lot of money from, from upgrading. It's all money for us as a business. The upgrade was £55 to silver. Um, there weren't any golds available, because I'm sure I will have been asked to ask <laughs> how much that would have been. I'm just calling reception, because it doesn't seem that our travel cot's here. OK, 12, 13 and 17, Eagle 47, okay. 6 p.m. Check-in is nearly closed. We're nearly there. Where's number seven? Where's number seven? Where's number seven? There's no numbers! Oh, gosh, you're coming off. But here come some late arrivals. They've got names. Oh, Bitten. Yeah, Bitten where? <laughs> you want an answer? <laughs> Where's number seven, then? Which one? Where is it, then? Caravan originally booked for a romantic getaway. Reserving judgment. But after splitting with her boyfriend, Sam only found a replacement at the last minute. Claire. <laughs> oh my lord. I just also split up with my boyfriend, so um I thought, wow, well, we this is a chance for us to have a, a little girly weekend. Yeah. Is this my bed then? Yeah, yeah, look, look where we go. For the two single mums, a weekend away is a rare treat. It's actually quite narrow, really, aren't they? To be honest, some weekends I don't leave the house. I'll start, seriously, I'll finish work up two on the Friday, go and do a bit of shopping and spend the whole weekend because I don't want to ring anybody and disturb their plans and make them feel that, oh, we should spend the time with sorry Sam. for you or yeah. something, yeah. Yeah. Is there a shower? Clean? It's wet still, so they've just cleaned oh, it. Okay. It's fine. I mean, a caravan holiday wouldn't be your first choice, would it? I wouldn't have thought so, no. No, it would have to be abroad and in the sun and... By the beach, really. So glad you've got that and I've got the double. Oh, look, and there's a heater. Pens. Yeah. Put that on you. You're going to want to warm that up, I think. Oh. It's going to sound really stupid. As much as I don't like your neck. Oh, look. Tie, there's no neck. No. Ooh, it's a bit open. You, know, you walk out the toilet kind of straight. Oh, no. I just think there should be nets or blinds or something. It's all right, isn't it? Clean, basic. Clean. Just what you need, really, for a couple of nights away. With everyone in their caravans, the holiday can begin. Another day done, Jim. Yeah. We are about creating amazing memories here, that is what we do. And we all try our hardest to create those amazing memories. You arrive here and you don't have to worry about anything what's going on in the real world. It's just that little moment where you can get away from the grind of everyday life, if you like and they don't start thinking about the real world until they drive out the gates again when they're going home. Being part of that is just absolutely phenomenal. It makes it all worthwhile. Around two-thirds of Paul's punters are on a break with family. For the Pearsons, their only family holiday of the year is an invaluable getaway. But when you've got five kids, it's hard to escape financial reality. Thank you. Here you come. It's not something I consciously think, oh, a child costs X amount. But you, you do have to be wary with a fair few children. Shopping, clothes. You're going to eat Matthew like a big boy? Birthdays. Christmas time, obviously, 
parties. We go on holiday. Yes, yeah. definitely going on holiday is quite a large cost. Okay, good for your dinner, right? The Pearsons have brought £70 worth of food to last all seven of them the whole weekend. Well, we tend to go shopping before we get there, so we don't have to buy stuff on site because it's more expensive. We tend to do easy stuff as well, so I don't have to spend the whole day cooking. Yes. So the kids tend to get a lot more junk food, don't they? Yes, well, my wife. That's why they enjoy it more, because they're all buzzing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They've got £50 spending money for the rest of the weekend. 11-year-old Bethany is aware just how precious this holiday is. It's what Mum and Dad deserve, because they do so much for us. Spending all their time on cooking food for us and stuff like that. And they don't treat themselves often at all. <laughs> I wish I could stay for a bit longer, but then it would cost more. But not everyone's getting into the swing of things. For doctor's receptionist Sam and pharmacy dispenser Claire, this could be the only holiday they get all year. I think it's a bit tired. Well, yeah, looking at the curtains and the yeah. tie backs. I mean, I just... It's a bit tired. Just but again, good. you're not paying a fortune, are you? So... That's not the point, though, is it? If you went to a B&B, &B, you know, I'm not saying five-star luxury, but they've come around and cleaned the place, so did you not notice the curtain? Well, there is a curtain missing. Hmm. And yeah. neck curtains. That's my one. Right. Yeah. Sorry. Can you hear the rain? Oh, God. It's going to rain. It's going to rain all weekend. But holiday parks make money come rain or shine. Although last year was one of the wettest on record, Park Resort's business continued to grow. Each site is designed so you can spend a little here and a little there. Slightly smaller scale to uh, what goes on in Vegas. There's a big part of our business. You know, this is the area where when people holiday, they hopefully they'll spend a little money. Creating amazing memories in the Lady Show Bar. It's the hub of the park, it's the heart of the park. This is where everything happens, all the entertainment, having drinks, watching a cabaret. It's a huge part of the holiday experience. If you're on a voucher holiday as well, um, you may have saved up that extra bit of money and you know you're gonna, you know, you're gonna want to spend it. From a holiday guest point of view, there is everything on the park that you need. You actually physically don't need to leave the park, it's all here for you. And of course, every successful business has a brand ambassador. Hi, Sparky. Hi, five. So this is Sparky the Rabbit. He's responsible for creating amazing memories for all the little boys and girls, aren't you, Sparky? The boys and girls can meet Sparky in person at every one of the 39 resorts, which also sell his merchandise. And more money comes in from sales of the £4.50 weekend fun pass, which gets you into the on-site facilities. <laughs> to see Sparky and friends perform their nightly show. For the Pearsons, it's the perfect way to keep all five kids entertained for an evening. But even on a night out with Sparky, they're watching every penny. We cheated and brought in drinks from Aldi's before we came here to save some money. Because the Cokes are two twenty five, <laughs> so I know exactly how much I've saved. Because these are 99p for 10 of them. So I have saved £10.25. I've got five kids and I don't work, so I'm quite used to having a budget. It's lovely to see the children when you're on holiday. Right. And it's, it's magical seeing them just enjoy themselves without any worries. Have you? Given half a chance, Nicole would quite happily have more oh, yeah, children, I but I think we've done our bit and <laughs> I don't think we could financially support any more. See you in the morning. I won't. Corinne and her friends are filling up with cheap booze before they hit the bar. Ching, ching, ching! The day I left school, that's when it changes, because you have to think about responsibilities, college, uni, deciding where you're going to go in life, money, the value of money, jobs, careers, everything. I like it though. I wouldn't change it for the world.
I would. I'd love to go back to school. At the minute, I earn enough for myself, but I couldn't move out of my house. I just don't earn enough. I love it. I love it here. It's proper homely. It's a homey feel. They're hardly 500 miles from home, but it's far enough for a first real taste of independence. What do you uh, have? Two nine pounds fifty for holiday? Yes. How much? Caravan, buddy. Yes. Thank you. Woo! Yes, Fucking awesome. Wow! Soho took. I didn't think it would be, but I am. I am not uh, drunk. I'm, I'm a little not bit drunk. A little. Just being away from your family. It's stupid because it's not even been a day. We know it's scary! Woo! We know it! Love it! Honestly, God, it feels like I'm abroad. <sighs> However cheap or expensive your holiday is, one thing you can't guarantee is the weather. And when it's your job to create amazing memories, the last thing you need is rain. Generally when it's raining, um, it cannot be a good, good holiday start for people. They um, get less, we get more unhappy people when it's raining than when it's sunny, believe it or not. Can't help the I know, you know what the trouble is with that, don't you? When they're stuck in the rain, all they do is sit in there and they start looking for things, don't yeah, they? Yeah, they do. And then if they see a cobweb around a light or something, they're like, oh, well, if that's in here, what else is in here? Yeah, and then that's when and they start looking. Yeah, because yeah. it's raining, so they've yeah, got they nothing more to do than sit yeah. and pick holes in their caravans. Yeah. But so far, touch wood, we've had nobody complain about anything. Yeah, God, I'm so hungry. But that grill is so poxy, though, mm. isn't it? I mean, it might be worthwhile mentioning that to the guy, the fact that the girl oh, right, does yeah. not... And for six people, really? No. They'll pick things <clears throat> like the upholstery's dirty, the sofa's dirty, the um, high dusting's not been done, or in main because they haven't got nets in the caravan, it feels like being in a fishbowl. It did seem like a good idea at the time. Single mum Sam and Claire reported their missing curtain yesterday, but so far nothing's been done. I mean, it is just a bronze, but is this one of the, you know, it's a sun holiday, so just give them any old tap. Mm. Not that I'm saying they're cat rounds tap, but, well, pfft. Or maybe they are just hoping that you will upgrade or, you know, pay the extra and upgrade mm. from a bronze. Well, we aim to satisfy all of our customers' needs, because obviously the customer is our heart and soul, you know. Any, anything that does go wrong on Park, we all do evaluate, learn and improve by it. We are all obviously one team, one goal. We don't have issues here. We have problems that we resolve. Something like that. <laughs> uh, you know. Yeah, go ahead. H35, the telly's not working. There's nothing at all. It's totally dead. I know it's an over there, but we've got telly With thousands of customers on site, it takes a lot of hard work to make sure they're all happy campers. Did you upgrade because it's down, the accommodation that you booked is a bronze three-bedroom caravan? Hello, good morning, everything OK? Yeah, yeah. It's only silver and gold that have multi-room heating. From March to October, Paul's Park employs 165 members of staff. Behind the scenes, obviously, there's loads that goes on on the whole department. Hello. Hello. How are we doing? Busy. Just about making sure that every department on the park is, is running to peak efficiency. We've also got a takeaway menu and some two-for-one meal deals that are available right here. Everything all right? Yeah, I love walking around or driving around and I love talking to people, making sure that, you know, we can deliver on what we say we're going to deliver on. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's cool to make sure that everything's all right with your accommodation. Yeah. Yeah, well, everything's uh, good. We did mention the, um, curtains. the curtains, yeah. didn't we, yesterday? Yes. Yeah. There's a curtain missing. What? Did, Not... Why did nothing get done about it? We just... Yeah. <laughs> Leave with me, I'll see what I can sort out for you for that window. Okay, no worries. Yeah. But, um, thanks. That's but, okay, yeah. I didn't realise that that was down. No one had told me that that was like that, so otherwise oh, that would have been reported. But honestly, why wasn't that... Because I was, I was trying to get all the... No, no, I totally agree with you. 
that's why I have to say. Very pleasant staff, but it's just... Oh, yeah, classy. Nice, yeah. isn't it? Oh, I'm still pissed. I've got home. Passed out. Still pissed. Did you come in? The morning after the night before. Corinne's finding caravanning isn't quite the same as being at home. It's just because you're so used to your parents just being around the corner and just running down the stairs to your mum or whatever, but here you can't. It's like you have to ring them and just, I don't know, the fact, obviously the alcohol didn't help either. <laughs> but it just makes you feel really alone, if that's the right way to put it. Hello, people. We've brought some curtains oh, wow. for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. That was quick. Yeah, I'm really sorry it wasn't done yesterday. Yeah, it's okay. It should have been. We've only got brown get. curtains, I'm afraid. So do you do this often, then? No, no. Okay. This was supposed to be a romantic weekend for two on the cheap, and that kind of went tits up. Didn't end up that way, <laughs> no. no. Oh. Up, so, yeah. Do you like the British holiday? No. No? <laughs> Not as a room. Right, they're all oh, done for you anyway, all right? Oh, they are. They are, aren't they? All right then, thank you. Okay, okay. Thanks. Thanks. Bye. 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 Yeah, the yes. issue's yes. Resol resolved. Yes. Curtains are up. Curtains are up. So we've done it. And they're happy. You're going to think this is really oh, awful. That's really picky now. The tie backs don't match. Well, of course they don't. Because no, they're the tie backs to the other curtains. Yes, I know, but... It's a contrast. And no neck curtains. In the off-peak season, the parks take the most money at the weekends. And their star attractions always on hand to help. Da, 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 da. Even on Sparky's birthday, there's no such thing as a free lunch. Admission to this party isn't included in the weekend fun pass. For the Pearsons, it's the one big treat they can afford to give the kids this weekend. Well, it's twenty pounds for the kids to meet Sparky and have food, on, eat and chips. get a goodie bag, and that's their treat for the holiday from us. They're on such a tight budget, there's not enough for any extra treats. We can't give them things whenever they want it. If they're told no, it means no, and they can't have it. There's no more pizza. You can't buy their love. You see people throwing money at kids and they don't seem to appreciate it, do they? So they always appreciate everything they get, don't they? So Ho hopefully. I know it sounds a bit selfish, but I wouldn't want another brother or sister because I would. I don't think we'd cope with that many, um, and it would be a struggle. I think. But pizza and chips with Sparky isn't for everyone. The Ravels are getting ready for a kids' day out with a packed lunch of cheese and ham wraps. We've always eaten some wide variety of foods, you know, I think from our travelling, we eat a lot of curries and to jeans and things like that, so we've always just offered it to the girls. And one of their favourite dishes is lamb to jean. But yeah, Isabella loves olives and blue cheeses and... And I love me cheese. Yeah, got the change bag, food bag. Jasmine, you gonna get any car seats? For their main holiday treat, the Ravels are leaving the resort behind and heading off to spend their money elsewhere. It may not be a safari in Kenya, but in Skegness, they found the next best thing. Uh, two adults have got a voucher for flight. They've even got a voucher, so that one of the kids gets in for free. Thank you, your pin number for 1560, please. The recession has tightened our belts and made us think a lot more about what we're spending on you. Do we really need this? You know, can we live without it? Thank you. Wow, what's that? We don't spend so much on ourselves. <laughs> Tend to shop a lot cheaper now, cheapish breaks. Come on, Isabella, no. No. no! Isabella, no, please, get down. You're showing Jasmine bad habits. You're not allowed at Bella, I'll tell you what. Joe, don't want to make a cry, tell that. It's an attitude thing, though, as well, because I'm a really positive person, so I think I'm not... I'm not ridiculously scared that the future's going to be hideous. 
you do limit what you're spending now, then you needn't get into big trouble, hopefully, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Penguin time now. Penguins. Yeah. Should we get you a sandwich? Do you want a sandwich? Skegness doesn't just cater for those who like a little safari. It's also got an answer to Las Vegas. Locals call it Skeg Vegas. I'm not picky or wear a leg one. For Nina, Corinne and friends, it's a chance to forget about work and spend some hard-earned cash. I don't gamble if I'm at home or in the bookies or anything. It's only when I come away. <laughs> it kind of sucks because it's going to take me a good couple of years just to get a full-time job. It'll be hard. There's no jobs available in Melbourne North. None. I think it's just going to get worse. I do. I think it's our country just going down a hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not getting nothing now. We spend it while I've got it, and once it's gone, it's gone. But at the moment, it's going. It's Saturday night. The parks are ready for a spending spree. 49 There you go, mate. And there's entertainment to cater to every market. Last night of our yeah, but for single mums Sam and Claire, Saturday night, like the rest of their holiday, I mean, no, because it was going to be like me and Phil, obviously, is yeah, so right far now. proving to be a low key moments, affair. I didn't think, oh, anyone's going to want to come away with me, you know, and I just thought, you know, stuck in a caravan with someone, it's not exactly glamorous, is it? Well, no. you know? But, God, so, well, I'm glad you've enjoyed yourself anyway. In fact, I don't go back to that. Oh, yeah, well, no, thank you. It's been, um. Oh. <sighs> yeah. yeah. So they haven't sampled the on-site entertainment, but the promise of a few laughs is enough to tempt them out. Hey, what's the entertainment going to be like, do you reckon? It's mostly comedy. I have to warn you, this crap, I won't laugh. But well, we're here. Comedy will be OK. I mean, I can never go to one of these bars and play stupid. No, like, no. Yeah, but okay, that's I'm nice. cheap. That's All nice. right, I'm cheap. <laughs> oh, Lordy. I've no idea what it is. No, it is. It's down here. Is it? Change this. Oh, oh she's not a comedian, is it? That's music, love. That's not a comedian. That's not a comedian. Is it a comedian or what is it? Oh, right, so no comedian. There's no comedian. Really? Yeah. I've been here for, what, 15 minutes? And I probably think that might be enough. For me and Sam. Oh, yeah. I gave us a free pizza. Nina, Corinne, and friends are staying in and saving some money. How much was it all together? Sixteen cents. How much was mine? I'll tell you. Don't look it up. Three ninety. Three by ninety. That's a fucking bargain. Large ones four eighty. That is cheap. What do you want, toast or crumpets? The Pearsons are also eating in. The caravan cupboard is almost bare. We spent £4.50 on our drinks tonight and we spent £6 on a photo of Sparky and the kids. I think there's probably about 70p left in my purse. And we're not going to drink all these, are we? Yeah. Still no sign of a comedian. But Sam and Claire have decided to go for one last splurge. No, we don't need men. No, we're not here. We're, it's a man free zone. We don't need men. Damn it, Sam. wasn't a comedian because when there's a comedian <laughs> oh my god I just look shy I'm sorry I know I'm back to the curtains but it's time to go home 
So holiday finished. And thoughts are turning to real life. I'm on 12 hour days when I go back. Yeah. Maybe you stay a bit longer. Just go and face the real world. This was a whole bottle. We've only got about there. In total, the weekends cost the Pearsons £236. So has it all been worth it? Yeah, I think it's been great value. Kids have been entertained all the time and there's been stuff for them to do. So I think it's brilliant value. Because this holiday is more about the kids than anything else, so... It's been really cool. I spent about 100 You've spent 100 yeah. You've probably I've, spent about, maybe I've a bit more. I'm left in my purse with one P. I still got my I spent all of it, yeah. 310 £310, I think, for the whole weekend. So it's actually been one of our more cost-effective holidays. You know, maybe well-off people are well-off because they know how to be good with money. It looks like the business of creating amazing memories is going to keep growing. There are already two million voucher holidays booked in for this year. We will always do voucher holidays. It just doesn't make sense that we wouldn't. Um, it's a great, great way for us to, to earn money and just see the, the future just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But many of us still dream of something a little more exotic. My dream holiday would be definitely Magaluf. Mind you, my first holiday away with just friends probably good. Best that we, to be yeah. over here than just, over yeah. there. Because if I'd got that homesick where I wanted to go home... At least you know it's a yeah. drive home. Kenya, I'd love to go to Kenya. That would be my dream holiday. Save enough pennies or win one. That would be absolutely well, fantastic. No, be I'll be paying for it. My preconceptions of this type of holiday have definitely been... <laughs> um, have changed. One, two, three, three! But we would we'd love to go back abroad and start taking holidays there again a bit more. I'll definitely do it again. I don't know, I'm just thinking, because I'm trying to think. If we plan it, it might not probably be the, be the same. same next time. No. Because we've done it. <laughs> probably pay the extra to upgrade a bit. But what, what do you get for the upgrade? You know, what, what does it match? What could be. <laughs> <Sorry>. what could <laughs> be? Oh, you should have slag. Really excited to go home. <laughs> really excited. Miss my mum. smash anything, or we'll get arrested. <laughs> I'm a bit tired though now, I think I'm tired. I'm tired after the holiday than I was before the start of it. Believe it or not, I actually went to college to do an air cabin crew course. I actually wanted to be a policewoman. Your exits are here, here and here, yeah. Please follow the white lines. <laughs> What have I done? My, my, oh, my, what a wonderful day. Plenty of sunshine hit my way. Zippity doo da, zippity. Mr. Bluebird on my shoulder. It is the truth, it's actual. Everything is satisfaction. Zippity doo da, zippity age. Wonderful feeling.